Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be quick. Uh, I went on a four mile run again. Felt pretty good. Uh, but today is my son Andrew's eighth birthday. So we're going over to my parents' house to celebrate with them and my sister and brother-in-law, their family, and I think my uncle's in town too. So We'll have a little family get together and uh, kind of hang out. Anyway, I wanted to get to a uh, update from my wife on the Hoka One One Torrents. You know, she had done five miles in them, but now she did the 50K in them, so kind of give a better impression of what she thought of the shoe. So anyway, I'm gonna bring my wife in. All right, so here she is. Talk about the uh, shoe, see what she thought of it. So what did you think of the shoe for the race? How did it perform? It was great. Uh, everything about the shoe I think worked out for me. Um, it felt like I had enough cushion, felt like I had enough contact with the ground. How about traction, do you think? I mean, I know the trails there aren't crazy, but how did you feel traction-wise? It wasn't muddy either, so. It wasn't really muddy. There were some like rocks that you kind of had to like step up on a little bit, and I, I didn't slip at all on those, so I'd say the traction's pretty good on the shoe. What about fit? Do you feel that like, you know, sometimes in a, a long race, your foot swells. This wasn't that long, but um, you know, the shoe can get tighter, but do you feel like the, the upper was fit your foot well the entire race, you didn't have to retie your laces, and it was secure. Yeah, yeah, the shoe didn't feel like at all like it had loosened up during it. Um, I still had plenty of room in the toe box. I did uh, stub my toe a couple times on some roots. That really wasn't the shoe's fault as much as my fault. Um, so I got some black toenails, but I don't really blame that on the shoe. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's had black toenails for a while, uh, something she's dealt with for a long time, but she was messing around with her toenail and she sent me a text message. I'm down here editing a video the other night. She sent me a text message and like, I did something and I'm, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> like, oh, great. I've heard this before. And uh, she sent me a picture and then I saw that she basically took off her entire toenail. Um, so she has no toenail whatsoever, not even one underneath. It's just a red piece of skin. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Um, don't think it's from the shoe though. No, know. I don't think it's the shoe's fault. Um, it was very rooty in places and I have a problem with picking my feet. So I just caught some, some, uh, roots. Yeah, that'll do it. What about the laces? Do you think that they, did they untie it all when you were running or did you? I double tied the laces okay. because when I had done my five mile run and it was wet, they had come untied. So no, okay. I just went ahead and, and double tied them. Preventative. With the runner's, runners knot. knot. Yeah. That's my thing. Okay. Uh, cushion wise, do you feel that they were? I didn't feel any like foot fatigue during the race, so I would say that they're pretty comfortable. I am experiencing a little bit of foot pain in my left foot, underneath like the arch inside of the foot, but I don't recall hitting anything or feeling like fatigue. So I just think that's a a byproduct of running thirty one miles. Yeah, she doesn't run that that far in. Nine months <laughs> since December, so yeah, yeah it's been uh, your longest run has been twenty miles, I guess, up until between between the two races. Yeah, twenty miles. Twenty okay. miles, so yeah, could just be time on feet. You're know, making the feet tired, but no bruising, so it doesn't look like anything is damaged. Mm -hmm. uh, just probably some soreness that'll work itself out over the next couple of days, hopefully. Hopefully, and she'll be back to running. Any final thoughts on the shoe? Are you happy with them? You? I'm very happy with them. I will probably continue to get the Torrents. Um, I love the color. Torrance, are, Torrance 2 now, because the 2 is out. But the 2 is out? The 2, yeah, we can't find these anymore. But. We'll have to see if I like the 2. Sometimes Hoka goes and does the wrong thing and everything I've messes heard, with it. Everything I've heard about the 2 is it's great. It's uh, very similar to the 1. Um, might not be as breathable as the as the 1. Uh, they changed the upper just a little bit. But other than that, it's supposed to be a very, very similar shoe. The lug pattern is a little bit different as well in the 2. Um, Actually, I was going to say there was one thing that I didn't like during the race. So when I stubbed my toe, it actually dislodged the, 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 sole, the, insole? Sole, the insole. Really? And so it slipped up. So huh. I hit my toe. You must have hit it hard. It, it, it was pretty bad. <laughs> the insole like slid up in the shoe and I kind of had to like push it back Sheesh. down with my toe. So that was kind of not a cool thing. I, I thought it had, was glued down. Well, they usually are glued, but if you're sweaty or if they get wet, they might come undone. And if you hit it hard enough, that's... That's, yeah, that's, so that's, that's, that's the toe. Yeah, that's the bad toe. Uh, okay. So that, that did happen. All right, so she's happy. She likes the shoe. So <laughs> awesome. Too. Cool. Okay. All right, well, now we're going to go and uh, celebrate Anders, his birthday. What are we having? Vegan hot dogs? Vegan hot dogs, baked beans. Vegan hot dogs, vegan baked beans, french fries. French fries. Vegan cake. 
So we are healthy most of the time. Today is just not one of those days. Yeah. <laughs> just because it's vegan doesn't mean it's healthy. Hot dogs are not healthy even if they're no. vegan or not. So, no. uh, But that's what my son wanted. So it's his birthday, so he gets to pick. So. Right. right. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for checking out the video. If you uh, like the Hoka review or the update on the torrent, you know, give us a thumbs up. And uh, hit that subscribe button down in the corner and you'll get more videos as I put out more trail running videos or gear reviews like shoes, my watch, things like that. Uh, and the video I'm working on for her race is uh, I've been able to get quite a bit done, so it might be out sooner rather than later, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but anyway, thanks for checking it out, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye! See you.